कार्डिनल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ होम्योपैथी लेक्चर बाय डॉक्टर रोहित देशपांडे हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द सेवन कार्डिनल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ होम्योपैथी दीज प्रिंसिपल्स फॉर्म द वेरी फाउंडेशन ऑफ होम्योपैथी एंड गाइड आर अप्रोच टूवर्ड्स द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वेरियस एलिमेंट्स लेट अस डाइव इन टू दीज प्रिंसिपल्स वन बाय वन One, the law of similia. This principle states that like cures like. This means that a substance that can cause symptoms in a healthy person can be used to cure similar symptoms in a sick person. For example, if a person is suffering from a fever, a substance that causes a fever in a healthy person can be used to cure the fever in the sick person. This principle was first introduced by the father of homeopathy Dr Samuel Hahnemann. To the law of simplex this principle states that only one remedy should be given at a time. This is because the symptoms of the patient can be more accurately assessed and the effects of the remedy can be observed more clearly. If multiple remedies are given at the same time it becomes difficult to determine which remedy is responsible for the changes in the patient's condition 3 the law of minimum this principle states that the minimum dose required to stimulate the body's natural healing response should be given this means that the remedy should be diluted to such an extent that it does not cause any harmful side effects but still has a therapeutic effect This principle is based on the belief that the body has the ability to heal itself and the remedy should only be used to stimulate this natural healing response. Four doctrine of drug proving this principle states that the effects of a remedy should be tested on healthy individuals before it is used to treat sick people. This is done through a process called drug proving. where substance is given to a group of healthy individuals and the symptoms that they experience are recorded this information is then used to determine the indications of the remedy and the conditions that it can be used to treat five theory of chronic diseases this principle states that all chronic diseases have a fundamental cause called miasm which is an inherited predisposition to a particular disease According to this theory unless the miasm is eliminated through antimiasmatic treatment a permanent cure of chronic disease is not possible This theory emphasizes the importance of identifying and treating the underlying cause of a disease rather than merely treating its symptoms paving the way for the ideal cure of innumerable chronic diseases 6 theory of vital force this principle states that the vital force is responsible for maintaining the health of an individual it is believed that the vital force is disturbed when an individual falls sick and the remedy should be selected based on the symptoms presented by the patient seven doctrine of drug dynamization this principle states that the potency of a remedy should be increased by a process called dynamization This process is believed to increase the therapeutic effect of the remedy while reducing the risk of side effects. In conclusion, these seven cardinal principles form the basis of homeopathy and guide the selection of the remedy and the dosage to be given to the patient. It is important to understand these principles to practice homeopathy effectively and provide the best possible treatment to our patients. Thank you for watching this video for more informative content please like share and subscribe to Dr Rohit Deshpande's YouTube channel